It was a chance to test critical skills in a real-life situation. Bomb squads from across the state today competed in a robot rodeo, but as Alex Tomlin reports, this rodeo wasn't about fun and games. The robot rodeo may sound like fun, but the Sandia National Labs event is all pressure. There are stages that get more complex as the competition goes along. Los Alamos National Labs bomb squad is working to find a hidden bomb. We are pushing ourselves and the robots to the limits so that we know our limits and we know the robot limits and we can operate within that envelope. Miles away, the Santa Fe bomb squad is maneuvering through the hardest challenge. The scenario? A suicide bomber planted explosives on a plane. The terrorist is dead and the passengers exited the aircraft. Now the robot needs to find the bombs. The point is for the teams to get some real world training. Start climbing. Trying to find these packages, trying to open up the overhead bin. Work in that confined space. It's a real challenge for them. After several tries, the bag is out. The steady hands of a bomb squad member control the robot from inside a trailer, relying just on the bot's cameras to see. Good, good, good. Excellent. Contestants say this competition is really the only chance they have to get this type of intense hands on experience. We're doing a lot of good training, a lot of a lot of learning, actually. This is our best um, opportunity to train. At the end of the day, squads say it's not about winning. It's about preparing for their next call. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. Bomb squads from the Albuquerque Police Department, Kerland Air Force Base, and State Police also competed. APD's team won the competition. All right.